What is going on guys, my name is Carf Academics, and in this video I'm going to show you how to purchase a domain name. So as you may see in the title, I'm going to be purchasing a domain name from Google themselves. The reason why I want to do this is because all of my information is already registered with Google. I trust them and it's a clean website and they do try to sell you a lot of stuff. And it actually comes with a lot of free stuff as well which I'll talk more about in the, vi in the video. Okay so I want to start by typing in Google domains. And it should be one of the first links at the top here. And it's going to agree you to a website that looks like this. So what you want to do now is search for a domain name that you want to use. For example, I'm going to use My Techademics, And it's basically going to bring you a list of URLs that are available and not available, as you can see here. So another thing to mention is to make sure you're actually in the right currency. And you want to make sure that you sign into the right email as well. Just because the domain is going to register to whatever, whatever email you are signed into. Okay, so now I've done that, it's listing me domains that are available to use, in this case mytechonomics.com, which I will be registering and that will be a future website as well. So what if you've typed in a domain name that isn't available? So I'm going to show you what to do right there. So I'm going to get rid of the my and just type in techademics, which are what I was originally going to use. And as you can see, it's not available. So there's a few ways of getting around this really. Um, the first way is to click on these three buttons and look up the Whois search which basically gives you all of the information to that domain and who's registered to it so you can basically email the owner and try and come up with some sort of agreement to, in order to purchase the domain from them or you can wait for the domain to expire so if this domain is not active it's basically going to come back on the market after so long and you can purchase the domain that way if none of them sound interesting to you you can also click on all endings here and what it's going to do is come up with all of the different TLDs that you can use with that uh, domain name. So for example, we've got actor, uh, we've got CA, cab, and um, there's going to be different prices because high, high prices are going to be on more premium domains. The reason why this is, is because they tend to be shorter domains and they tend to hold more valuable keywords. So they're going to be more valuable in price. Okay, so coming back to my techademics, this is the domain we want to purchase, and it's from £10 a year as you can see. So we're going to click on this little icon, which is going to add it to our cart, and then we want to click on this top right here, view cart. So you're going to go to a page that looks like this, and under registration, it's going to give you a few options. So the who is search that I was talking about earlier, where you can view the information of the registered domain, where you can turn this on or off on your domain, so basically, if my privacy is on, it's not going to tell other people that I am registered to that domain. My information is not going to be uh, public. And this is completely free as well with Google. Usually with other domain names, you do have to pay for this. And obviously, I want auto-renew on. Um, that's self-explanatory, so your domain name doesn't expire after a year. So once we've decided what options we want, we're going to click check out. So it's going to tell us to enter some information, so I'm going to do that right now. Once you've entered your information, you then want to click save and continue. Now we just want to quickly review that we have got the correct domain name, and it's going to be at the correct cost, and when it's going to auto renew. Once all that's correct, we just want to enter our billing information, and then click continue. Now we just want to enter our card information in order to purchase the domain, and then you want to click buy. So once you've successfully purchased your domain, it's going to give you a few options. So you can build a website straight off the bat, or you can sell the email. But we're not going to do this in this case because I'm going to be registering this domain with a online hosting service. Okay, so that's everything. All you need to do now is verify your email, uh, which you get sent to your email, of course. So we're going to click verify my email address. And then that is successfully done. You have purchased a domain name from Google themselves. So if this video was helpful, please leave a like. And if you do have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and subscribe to see more videos like this.